Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I want to make sure you know the latest news about the PPP, the Paycheck Protection Program, specifically when we can expect to get the, I guess you can say the official formalized documents around the policies and the changes that they've made. And if you don't know what the PPP is, I'm going to explain that in a moment as well. Um, a lot of you guys know about the EIDL, the $10,000 grant. Well, this was essentially basically another free $10,000. Maybe it would have been $5,000. Maybe it would have been three. Maybe it would have been 20. It, it a little different program. And it does depend on how much money you report and make. So, you know, maybe it wasn't as exciting because a lot of people weren't just basically given a free $10,000 grant. And again, again, it was more so dependent on how much money you made. So, you know, it didn't really have as much excitement for a lot of people. But if you reported your income and made a lot of money, that then positioned you to get a lot of money from the PPP. So it was pretty good and pretty exciting for a lot of people. And that's why I'm trying to make sure you guys, my people here on my channel, know the deal, are up to date on the PPP as well as the EIDL. Because again, everyone's only talking about the EIDL, the Economic Injury Disaster Loan. But we got the PPP as well. And I'm going to explain that program in a second. Um, but for those of you who do know what it is, this article down here, it says the legislation includes key provisions related to the Small Business Administration's Paycheck Protection Program and Signature 7A loan, which I actually just talked about in one of my other recent videos. Um, if you're looking for a startup um, loan, startup grant, well, not a grant, startup loan. You want to probably check out one of my most recent videos, um, uh, Signature 7A loan. And then it says, uh, while we wait for the agency to issue governing regulations, it must do so within 10 business days from the enactment or by January 6, 2021. The changes are worth noting, especially if you own a, a business or plan to advise clients on matters related to the relief package. And I'm over here helping to share, you know, my research and what the things I find with you guys. And I'm like, well, I don't, I mean, I don't technically advise you guys, but I like to share my research. And this was just really important to me because again, people don't really know about the EIDL. So I want to give you guys a date to kind of look out for by Wednesday, we should have the official updated policy around the Paycheck Protection Program, the PPP, in which, again, you can get free business money for your small business. If you are a sole proprietorship, if you are self-employed, if you are an independent contractor, freelancer, you are a small business, basically, and you might be eligible for the PPP, the second round of the Paycheck Protection Program. I'm trying to tell you guys, a lot of money out there, a lot of money. And, you know, one, you can get some of this money by grinding and working your butt off. You know, I'm literally about to head out for a gig uh, in like four hours, five, six hours. I don't know, a few hours. And it's eight o'clock right now, 8 p.m. on a Sunday. People probably, huh? Yeah, I grind. I put in that work. I get off my butt. You know, and I do a lot of work from the computer, too. I do consulting work. I work with other entrepreneurs and other, you know, uh, sole proprietors and people that are trying to get the ball rolling, don't really know what to do. Yeah. So I, I do stuff from my computer too. I sit on my butt and grind too, but I also get out on the road and get outside, get dirty and get sweaty. And yeah, I do the whole shebang. Um, and that's what it's about putting in that work. So that put me in a position where, Hey, I report my earnings. You know, I wasn't only doing stuff on the side and collecting it under the table. I reported my earnings and that positioned me to now be able to qualify for the Paycheck Protection Program, for example. And for those of you wondering, what is the Paycheck Protection Program? It says it's an SBA loan that helps businesses keep their workforce employed during the COVID-19 crisis. Now, as you can see, if you come on to the SBA's website and you look right now, it currently says the Paycheck Protection Program closed August 8th. Current law indicates that the Paycheck Protection Program, PPP, closed at the end of August 8th, 2020. As such, SBA is no longer accepting PPP applications from participating lenders. Now, it says over here, 
the uh, Paycheck Protection Program is a loan designed to provide a direct incentive for small businesses to keep their workers on the payroll. And you are the worker of your small business. You are self-employed. You're the business and the employee. I mean, you're the business owner and the employee. And um, again, some of this is the stuff that's probably going to be changed. So I don't really want to jump into this because where this is why I was making this video to let you know we're going to be getting the official kind of details around the peach the second round of the PPP and you know know kind of what is the deal there who's going to be better positioned um, or who's going to be able to apply who's going to be able to get some more money because there's a lot of money out there my friends and I, I just want to try to make sure as many of you guys know that you have a shot you have a chance to get some of it I literally was someone who got money from the Paycheck Protection Program the first round. I'm so I'm a sole proprietor. I'm a self-employed individual. Don't have an LLC. Don't have an S Corp. And so a lot of you guys can do it too. My Uber driver one time, I was trying to tell him. He's like looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, I know, you know, I can't speak. I couldn't, you know, I can't. I don't even remember what his national, you know, what, what he was, what his ethnicity was and whatnot. But uh I'm like, you know, I know you hear the words coming out of my mouth, <laughs> like this, you can get some of this money too. And he's just looking at me like I'm insane. I'm like, yo, like I gave him my card. He's looking at my card like, okay. Like then he kind of was like, okay, this guy's a little official. He got a business card and the, the card, my card's official and you know, nothing special, but I think that helped to kind of, you know, I remember him being like, okay, looking back and looking back at me like a little differently, but it was still one of those things where I think he's like, mm. I'm just an Uber driver. I'm like, no, you you are a small business. You are the business. Uber is who you have a partnership with. You are not an employee at Uber. And, you know, by being an independent contractor, you are in a contract with them. So think about two businesses that have a contract together. That's what you are doing. That's what you are. You are a business. And you've been paying taxes. You've been working for Uber for grinding and that's the thing. So many of these, so many people out here who are part of the gig economy or just doing their own thing, grind and work your butt off. You absolutely deserve to be in a position to benefit from these programs because you have been paying your taxes. You've been chipping in. You've been an honest, hardworking, you know, American citizen. And why should you not be able to benefit from these programs? So I'm just trying to hope, you know, you guys get the words that I'm saying and understand me and believe it and feel it and start to carry yourself like a business and start to think about yourself as a business, because I think it's going to help in the long run. It's going to help you elevate your game and just get better and kind of start to manage your your money better. And just, you know, as I've done those little things, I can just all the pieces started to come together better. And, you know, it's like a puzzle and you're just like, oh, oh. You start to get excited because you're getting down to the end and you're starting to see it all formulate. So that's what I'm trying to help with. And that's, I mean, I don't have all of the pieces. That's the thing. I continue to do research. I continue to spend time trying to find out what the deal is. And I come back over here on my channel with you guys and share it and try to get, you know, your thoughts, throw out your two cents, and we just move forward together. So on that note, yeah. Yeah, we're going to keep it moving. You guys already know. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, definitely do so. I'll probably be making some more videos on the Paycheck Protection Program, how you can benefit from it if you are self-employed, if you are a sole proprietor, an independent contractor, a small business owner. And as you know, along with the PPP, we got the EIDL, the Economic Injury Disaster Loan, and other local small business grants and loan and rental assistant programs. And of course, I have a ton of other content that I'll be releasing as well around starting your business, your side hustle. If you haven't really done it yet and you're watching this like, oh, I didn't qualify for X, Y, Z reasons. Well, I think for like joining this kind of this series of videos that I'll be releasing will better position you to qualify for programs like the PPP. And along with things like that, I'll have personal financial management content as well. So definitely subscribe. After you do that, you know, and hit the notification bell, of course, after you do that, like this video, like I said, it helps me, helps the YouTube algorithm, shows me you guys appreciate the time and energy I put into these videos. And after that, if you want, 
You can leave a comment down below letting me know what town, what city, what county, what state you are in so I can look out for any grants and loan programs that are rolling out your way and I'll try to cover them in some upcoming videos. So there you guys have it. Hopefully you're having a great weekend, a great week. And um, yeah, we're going to keep it moving over here. I got a busy next few days, but uh, you already know what it is. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.